Okay, so you want to do mods to connect to your PC. This is for Steam VR. You'll need this virtual desktop steamer. It's $20 on the Quest app. You can have the Oculus app. But it's much better using this virtual desktop. To get virtual desktop, you want to head over to here. Type it in. It'll come up. And you'll also want to enable Air Link to connect to your computer. If it's not in heat right here, go to settings. Experimental. It'll be right here. You can also use a cable. If you have the cable, switch this off. Click on that. You download it for whatever thing you have. But I already have it. When you first set up virtual desktop, you have to add all the accounts that you have on your Oculus. When you get the app on the Oculus, it'll say like connecting to your computer. I made a video of that. It's it's right here. And then you can use your desktop right here. That doesn't cost anything. Just when you buy it on the Oculus App Store, it's $20. On here, you can change it, the environment for a virtual desktop. Now I'm in a movie theater. First thing you'll need this monkey mod manager. Search monkey mod manager. You can get it here. But I go to the like the actual website of it. This is a good guide. I went through this. That actual website is not there anymore. I have it on my other video though. You can get it here anyway. Be right here. Put it wherever you want. I have it in this drive. Enough girl tag stuff and I put it there. But I already have it. So I'll cancel. This monkey mod manager has mods in it. If you're happy with those, I mean, that's that'll be good. Just use those. But there's mod menus and the player models, cosmetics, more cosmetics you can add. Just click the ones that you want. And you click this, install update. And you can close out of here. It already did its thing. Open Steam.
right click Gorilla Tag, Manage, Browse Local Files. And you're looking for this folder right here, Bepinex. And then Plugins. Here's the mods. When you click to install update, it added this folder. Without this folder, you won't be able to add mods. And you add the mods in the plugins folder right here. Again, I have my mine in this SSD Gorilla Tag stuff. And you can download the custom maps. You can search it. And you'll see all the custom maps you can download. And put and then open Monkey Map Loader. Highlight the ones you downloaded and move them over to the custom maps folder. If you have one hard drive, like the main drive and no other drives, don't just drag it over. It'll remove it from the folder you just dragged it from. But since I'm on another drive, it copies it. These materials, I got these from a Discord. I forget which which one I got it from. But there's YouTube videos and they have links in their descriptions. That's how I was able to get this stuff. I just watch YouTube videos. And there's links in their descriptions to their Discords. Mats, meaning materials. Highlight them all. This time I'll do copy paste to demonstrate if you're on one drive. Copy. Paste. Because it already had some in there. I just replaced it. In the player model. It's this person right here. I got this by following a link in a video's description. And when you first go to this, you'll go to a rules page. Read the rules, scroll all the way down, and it'll say verify. Because you can't get in unless you verify it. Just click on one of those icons and it'll, it'll just... And you're there. This one right here, Nacho Assets. It's on the Git Hub. Or click this. Move over to right here. And then download this. I already have it right here. There's some models in there. And it, but there's a whole bunch of player ones, that fan-made ones that people made. And to get those, click on this one, player models, and just download all these fan-made ones they submitted to, to Nacho Engine. That one's cool. Here's 70s. You can get his stuff. And then the GT mod menus. You can get up some stuff mod menus here too. Wait. And all those mod menus I got, I put them right here in this folder. Just so I have them all in one folder and not scattered all over in here.
and to use one of those and just put them in here and in, in this the Befinex plugins and right here and for some reason the older ones don't work it just locks you up but the newer ones like the mango it's not really that new but newer than the others works that one works this one works but for some reason the older ones like the earlier ones they don't work you know, like when you get into the grill attack you're just froze you can't move around i'll move over this one And for the player model, you can you can move over the zip file and then unzip it from there. Don't do extract here. Do extract to the folder. So it puts it in its own folder. Or you can unzip it where you downloaded it to, which I already did. It's right here. And I already have all the the models into it. So I just move it over. And the reason why you're, I say to copy and paste, if you have one drive, because what if you don't want to use these mods anymore? All you do is delete this folder. That's it. Just delete the folder and then the mods won't be there anymore. And if you want the mods back, just repeat. Open Gorilla Tag. For some reason, if you just click the Gorilla Play right or here, I'll do it to show you. The computer in, in the stump has to be black. Then you'll know the mods work. Move that out of the way. See like that. See how this computer has no text. So you close out of it. And so you click Steam VR. And when that loads, it'll give you have it'll have all your apps that you have on Steam VR. It's not showing on them what I'm recording yet. So when I click it, then it'll start showing it. And you'll see the big grill ahead as it's loading. See now, now the computer has the text. First things first. Modded casual and go on a private lobby so you don't get banned. Normally my son just does across the board and that right there will say you're in a private lobby now. And then if you wanted to go to a modded where a bunch of gorillas are, monkeys, just change this to mod to load your map you click on that it'll take a second there it is and that's the portal and then you can scroll to what you want I'm looking for that Zelda thing this is it you choose what you want enter and then you enter again and then it's loaded and then you can jump into your map It's got rupees.
and then to get out of it normally it's you'll just see another portal like the one you went into but on this one it's got the ocarina to get back out and then the cosmetics that I loaded they're right here normally this this won't be here that extra block on top but you hit that and then materials and then there's all your different ones you can choose and that mirror you can look to see what you have there's a whole bunch you can choose from and there's that and then the models those are over here And here's all your custom models. Some of them start glitching out like that. You choose what you want. This guy looks pretty creepy. <laughs> there, now I'm that creepy guy. And the mod menu is right here. You push X for your mod menu. For this one anyway, all mod menus are different. Once you have them all loaded, run the game. Because sometimes it won't work. And then close out of your game. You don't have to shut the Oculus. Just on the computer. Steam, Steam VR. Even down here in the system tray. And then try again. If it fails, delete that Bepinex file, restart the computer, and then try again. It's, it can be frustrating. There's times where I, I couldn't get anything to work. Thanks for watching.